The Treasury Chief Secretary blasted Brussels for showing taxpayers contempt by ploughing cash into mind-boggling projects like donkey milk. Research and dog fitness centres, ministers will have the power to make positive decisions about spending after throwing off the shackles of the European Union, Ms. Truss said. But she warned that voters want the taxes spent on police and schools. Rather than nanny state campaigns telling them how much to eat or exercise, she said. The Thatcherite speech to centre-right think tank onward will be viewed as a clear sign Ms. Truss is readying herself for a leadership contest as Theresa May struggles to keep the government together. She said the Treasury would look at the major projects the government is investing in and ask whether they are really working for us. People have told me they want money focused on core public services, the police, education, roads, defence and the NHS. She said people are also very clear that they don't want to see the government waste taxpayers' money. Let's not forget how angry people get when politicians get this wrong. Listrus, Conservative MP and Chief Secretary to the Treasury, Image Getty, Labour's botched NHS IT system that cost the taxpayer over £10 billion, or the EU blowing our money on things like dog fitness centres and donkey milk research projects, this waste portrayed contempt for the taxpayer and damaged the faith in politicians, a spending review to allocate cash to Whitehall departments will be carried out later this year, but some budgets, such as the NHS, are protected, leaving the Treasury little room for manoeuvre. The Treasury needs to focus on less sexy projects and more on the basics, such as fixing roads and improving local public transport, she added. Curbing the nanny state interventions into the way voters live their lives would free up more money to help children and vulnerable adults. British Prime Minister Theresa May, Image Dinendra Haria, Sopa Images, Light Rocket via Getty. Images, I'm a great believer that we should not tell capable adults what to do, she told the group, and that we all need the freedom to make decisions, good or bad, and live our own lives, but we all have a duty to make sure that children growing up in Britain have the best start in life, by cutting out unnecessary activities that drive up costs for the government we can cut taxes so that people can keep more of their own money make sure everyone in britain has the basis of success and afford to help the most vulnerable